welcome to Fun Tower Kitchen. Here's your host, Rock and Ron Sedaly. Thank you, Tracy. That was Tracy Cray. She's part of the Fun Tower Radio family. We have a lot of fun with her. And uh, her and I like to banter uh, back and forth. But uh, to be honest with you, we love each other. Right, Tracy? Anyway, um, I want to shout out my neighbors right over there next door, Marsha and Michael Gianfrido. Now, the back of their house faces my garden window right here. So when they're out in their sunroom, they could literally look out the window and see me standing here with my funny chef hat on. So in case they're out there looking, I better, better wave to them. So as you recall, yesterday I had a great shopping experience at Ikea. And the most exciting thing that I purchased was this cutting board. I never owned a cutting board this nice. And I want to make sure that this cutting board lasts a long time. So what we're going to do is we're going to treat it with mineral oil. Now the uh, cutting board, I washed it last night and patted it dry and let it sit out in the air. In fact, I've got a, a natural gas fired uh, heating stove in the dining room. So I put it out there next to the heating stove to draw all the moisture out. So it's nice and clean and we're going to oil that up. But before we do that, we're going to sanitize our cooking utensils. So let's head on over to the sink and we'll start that process. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to wash our utensils. Now many dishwashing liquids are actually antibacterial to begin with. And uh, this is Ajax. I like to use this. It has a nice scent to it. So let's get the water going here. Soap. And we're just going to wash our utensils up. All right. Just clean off our runoff here. All right, I've got a cookie sheet here. And we're just going to rinse off our utensils. Spread them out over this pan. Now, when you use wooden utensils to cook or to stir up uh, like ground beef or ground pork, like I've done in some of my videos, it's always a good idea to wash the wooden utensil with antibacterial soap as quick as you can. You don't want the spoon sitting around in that meat hardening up on it, nor do you want to take a, a wooden spoon and submerge it in water and let it sit in the sink when it's dirty, because then the uh, bacteria will just get further into the wood. So the next step, I've got some 3% hydrogen peroxide for a dollar. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to just drizzle the hydrogen peroxide over your utensils, just like that. And then we're going to let these sit for about 15, 20 minutes. And while these are sitting, we'll head on over and oil up our brand new cutting board with some mineral oil. Okay, I've got my cutting board sitting on top of a plastic uh, trash bag. We don't want to put it on cloth because we don't want to draw the oil out of the board after we put it in there. So it's very simple. What we're going to do is we're just going to very liberally rub the oil into the cutting board with a paper towel. That's it. Just rub it in nice. No need to really uh, wipe off any excess because we're going to let this cutting board sit for 24 hours after we do this and then we're going to coat it again and let it sit for another 24 hours. That's nice. Get that mineral oil floating over the cutting board. And make sure we get these the end grain it's important to get because 
where the oil really gets soaked into the wood right there. All right, like that. Uh, see that? Let's soak that in really nice. Coat the bottom. Now what some people do with cutting boards is they'll use this side, for example, which is the side without the drain notch. This side you could use to cut fruits and vegetables. And, and dedicate this side of the board to cutting nothing but fruits and vegetables. And then the other side of the board you can dedicate to cutting nothing but meats, fish, pork, chicken, and such. And again, whenever you use a cutting board to cut meat, you want to make sure that you wash it right away. You don't want it sitting around with meat juices soaking into the wood. In fact, I'm not going to use this cutting board for meats at all. I'm going to show you what I picked up at a kitchen supply place in Waterbury today. Okay, I've cleaned the oil off my hands and all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this cutting board and I'm going to let it rest over on the counter behind me. Now I want to show you this cutting board right here. It's pretty beat up. Uh, I've had it for many years like my other cutting boards. This is probably 20 years old and it's, you know, it's got a lot of rough ridges in there from, from many years of cutting meat. And as you can see, it's got a special shape to it. It belonged to uh, a porcelain sink that I once had before I replaced it with the uh, stainless steel sink behind me. So I thought it was time to replace this cutting board with something a little more attractive for the videos and uh, a top quality one. So let me show you what I got. This is a Winco cutting board. They're actually available in different colors. You could buy a red one and that would be dedicated to you know raw meats. Yellow is for poultry and vegetables green. Bakery and deli is, would be this color here. Cooked meats brown, seafood blue, uh, allergen free. Very important to have a separate cutting board for that if you have people that are sensitive to allergies. But I just purchased a white one because this is going to be used for meats. That's it. So I want to open this up. What's nice about this board is it has non-slip feet in the corners here. And I've got porcelain tile countertops so this really helps. This is keeping this right in place while I do my cutting. So I'm really looking forward to using this. All right, back over to the kitchen sink here where we've had our wooden utensils sitting in uh, hydrogen peroxide 3% for about 15 minutes or so. So basically all we're gonna do real quick, just a quick rinse with hot water, like so. And then we're gonna put them in our new breathable wooden utensil container. We're just going to let them air dry. So, we're all set. Our utensils are sanitized. Okay, I want to thank you for watching this episode of Fun Tower Kitchen, and I promise the next episode we're going to cook something. See you next time.